Hey guys! Well, today we are back at it with another review from a Cellmark product. This is the Pulsar Accolade 2 LRF Laser Range Finder. This is a thermal camera that can be used both day and night, as you're not going to burn out your sensor if you run it during the day. This means that if you're sitting out there and you're wanting to look in the woods and kind of see through the trees without having to worry about, hmm, it's just about dusk, I can still see, but I think there's something in the trees over there. You can use this and actually spot what's in the, the woods. Now, if it's too far back, you're not going to be able to see it. It's not going to be x-ray vision like we see on TV. It's going to just show you the closest thermal that it can. This is really cool. So why don't we jump into what all comes with the kit. Now, as you can see, we have our actual thermal camera. It comes with one battery, a charger, it comes with a micro uh, USB on there so that way that you can actually pull your images and video off as well as use this charger which has just a USB charger on it to charge your battery. I'll show you how to take that off in a minute. It comes with a nice strap as well as this bag. We'll actually look over the camera in a minute and we'll talk about what all is on here so that way that you guys get an idea of what this binocular set is. Now let's talk recordings. I want to tell you that I love this and I love recording on it, but I'll tell you the thing that I hate about it the most, it records an AVI. It's not MP4, it's not MOV, it's AVI, which means that it is a Windows only format, which means I import to my Windows PC, convert, and then I send it over to my Mac for me to upload to you guys. It's an extra step that I really wish I didn't have to deal with. I wish it was in a format that both file, both computers could read, so I could just upload it where I wanted it, but it's really set up so that way that the people who have Windows can view these files easy. And then you have to convert. And I just, I'm sorry, I don't want to have to convert. That is a big turnoff to me. It's not something that's going to be a turnoff in the overall scheme of things, but as somebody who uses YouTube as my format and uses Mac to edit on, come on guys, give me an option. For those of you guys who have been longtime followers of the channel, you guys know that I broke my back 10 years ago and I have shakes. So when you see the camera doing this, my apologies, I shake. Now, I've had this for a month, and I wish I could tell you I've seen a bunch of cool things like, you know, Bigfoot, uh, grizzly bears, uh, you know, Tasmanian devils, mountain lions, but really, I haven't recorded as much cool as I, I wish I had. Yeah, I've got things like beehives, which are cool to see because, you know, all year round, beehives have to keep that stable temperature. I've seen bunny rabbits, you know, I've seen cats, I've seen my chickens, I did see a coyote at one point, and then the next day I went and saw my neighbor's dog running around the field at midnight, which was kind of hard to distinguish between what a coyote is and what a dog is, but thankfully I had my flashlight out there and I was able to spot Crash and said, come here, and was able to play with the dog for a little bit since he scared away everything else. We saw deer, we saw deer in the trees, which is really cool because that's something that I talked about. And then we saw possibly a possum, maybe a trash panda, not really sure exactly what it is. To me it looks like a possum, but other people say, oh yeah, that's a raccoon. And then last but not least, this is pretty cool. I filmed this during the day. This was my father working on his tractor. He was off in the woods about 150 yards away from us. So you can see the heat of the tractor as well as him moving around. And what's interesting about this is since the tractor puts off a lot more heat than my father did, my father kind of blends into the background. So if you're going and you're spotting and you have something that's going to be hot like a car, if you have animals nearby that area, you may see that they start to get washed out because the engine of the car may have been hotter and so this thermal camera picks it up based on what heat is and then adjusts the brightness of every heated item. So if it's a really cold night, your trees are going to actually glow because your trees are warm. 
kind of cool. Now, this does have the Stream Vision app, which means that you can set this up on a tripod outside of your, your door, and then without having to get up and, and go and, and bundle up and, and warm up for uh, getting ready to go hunt, you pull out your target vision, you keep this thing running, you keep it battery powered using a USB uh, charger with your battery, and you can just pull out your phone, pull up the app, and see, okay, there's nothing out there. I can lay in bed for another five minutes without having to go get warmed up and pull my rifle out to go hunting. Kind of a cool feature. If you guys want to see more about the Stream Vision, I recommend going and checking out this video as we have already done a full video including the Stream Vision app. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is the rangefinder. And when we actually look at this, we will actually see that we have the sensor where you're going to actually get all of your thermal in. And then we've got these two which are going to be for your laser range finding. And that really lets us go out there and say, okay, I see something maybe half a mile away. I need to know what that shot is. So I throw my range finder on there. It's going to find that hot point. It's obviously, they want you to be able to use this without having to try and adjust and go, what is, what, where exactly is that? It's going to find that hottest point. It's going to lock in on that. You're gonna press your, your range finder, as you'll see in this video, and then it will tell you exactly how far in meters. That way that you can adjust your rifle and be ready to rock when you pull that trigger. I really like that. Now, I know what all of you guys are thinking. How much is this going to set me back? And I wanna tell you, oh, this is something that everybody can afford, and I have five of these in my possession right now because I can. Well, <laughs> They're about $6,000. But is it worth it? Well, you can actually run your thermals out to a mile. So if you're really hunting in nice um, valleys and you can really see good distances and you want to be hunting and follow and track something that's coming towards you or see what's really going on in your area, $6,000 is a pricey tag, but definitely worth it if you want to go and and use this this thing is i hate saying it but i really want it in my kit just for the sake of having it out here on the property to say you know i hear coyotes let's see if they're on the property i can walk out at night without having to turn on any lights and see everything on my farthest pasture but six thousand dollars again is you know two new rifles some ammunition a scope tripod is it worth it? Maybe not to you, but maybe to the next guy. Now, I've only had this for a month, and in the month, I have charged it fully twice. I charged it the day that I got it, because obviously you want to start a review off with a full battery. You want to see how long is that battery going to last. And I had it for a month, and yesterday I decided, hey, I'm gonna be out from about midnight until 5 a.m. I want to have this fully charged and the battery only dropped down one bar in that full length of time that this thing was on. The battery is great. It's got an amazing life on it. I can stay out and do a full night hunt with this without worrying that my battery is going to die. Now, will the battery always stay that way? No, batteries do die, so you may have to go and replace this battery in X number of years, but for the time being, this will last me three to four days worth of hunting at night, and that's pretty awesome. Having it set up where it's an easy way to just take it off, oh, why don't we show you how we actually remove this battery. So I do have my tripod on here, we're just going to close that up, and on the bottom right here, we're going to have this tab. We're going to lift this tab up, moving my tripod out of the way, now the battery just slides out. What this is doing is it's actually moving this piece right here and locking it in place. Now that we've done that, again, we have another tab here. We're going to throw our battery on here. It goes on only one way. We lock it on and we're done. Throw our charger on here. And we've actually got an LED to tell us about charging. Pull that off and we can pop this back on. 
super simple, super fast, and easy to use. Now when you're turning it on, you've got one on button right here. You just hold this until you see the pulsar. It's not going to take you 30 seconds to turn it on. You know, you hold it down for five seconds and pulsar is going to turn on. It will start up. It will start up in the same setting that you had it. So if you had it zoomed in, it's going to be zoomed in. But it makes it really nice to go out and just be ready to rock. Now, I did not set the time on this, so if you see any of those clips and you're going, oh wow, those were set at different times like that, they're not correct. I didn't spend the time to actually adjust all of that. Overall, I love, love, love this Pulsar Thermal Accolade 2 LRF. I wish I kept this. I wish this was something that I could just afford and, and have no problem using this day in and day out. However, right now $6,000 is a lot of things that we could be doing and it's just not worth it for me to save that much money for this right now. They do have some less expensive options. Pulsar does offer things in the $1,500 or $1,900 range depending on where you're finding them. They do offer things that are a little bit more expensive than this. They offer tube scopes, they offer monoculars, they offer these binoculars, they offer a lot of options. So when you're looking for a nice, nice thermal setup and you want to go from one brand to the same brand in the same type of uh, thermal where you go from binoculars to monoculars to your rifle scope, Pulsar is the way to go. They make a setup that is just built for people who want to use them at night. These are not going to be the, the, the setup for professionals who are looking to find water leaks. No, these are designed for the guys out there who want to hunt, they want to see what's on their property, they want to see what's going on at night, and they want high quality gear. That's what Pulsar makes. Guys, I'm Atticus James with GearsOfGuns.com. I hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe, and you guys will go and follow us on Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, so you guys will get to see all of these cool photos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.